I have tried eight dry bar hair tools and today I'm going to be ranking them from least favorite to my favorite one. So let's get right into it. At number eight, I have the dry bar brush crush. So this is a very old hair tool. I remember using this a couple years ago and this is basically just like a heated paddle brush. And if you know me, you know that those are not my favorite hair tools to use on my curly hair. I just prefer to do a blowout and then even use a straightener if I need to. I just don't love using straightening brushes like that on my natural curls, like straight from my natural dry curly hair. It's just not the most gentle thing to do to my hair and I just noticed that it pulls my hair a lot. I love dry bar hair tools but that one is just not my favorite and I actually didn't use that one again I believe after that video. I ended up returning that one because it was a little bit pricey. I believe it was about $150. So I just ended up returning it because it wasn't my favorite and it's just not my favorite way to straighten my hair basically. So yeah, you will notice that I just don't use those types of hair tools anymore on my hair and they're just not my favorite. They're just not my favorite for my curly hair. So let's move on to hair tool number seven. So at number seven, I have the dry bar, the straight shot blow drying flat iron. This hair tool isn't bad. Again, I just prefer to blow out my hair first and then use a straightener or even just blow it out with a regular blow dryer or a blow drying brush like a round brush blow dryer i just noticed that these hair tools don't give me the smoothest results and they just kind of pull my hair a little bit so i did notice that the straight shot blow drying flat iron did kind of pull my hair a little tiny bit because of that brush that it has I don't know it just kind of pulled my hair a little bit and it wasn't the most gentle on my curly hair it gave me a very sleek look but i also didn't love how my ends looked a little bit like my ends just look very straight they didn't really have a lot of shape or volume or bounce so i mean as you can see i just prefer that my ends are like you know just with a little bit of bounce a little bit of curl at the end and i actually just did a blowout today so I didn't really use a flat iron or like a curling iron or anything to do my hair. So yeah, I just like to get that like bouncy look basically. So yeah, that's why I didn't really love that hair tool that much. It is a very nice hair tool, but for my hair type, it's not like my go-to type of hair tool. I feel like if you have more wavy hair, you might like that hair tool a little bit more. Overall, not bad at all, but I just haven't reached for it that much just because there's other ones that I prefer a little tiny bit more, even from Dry Bar from the same brands because there's a couple in here that I use so, so much. I use a lot of dry bar hair tools and products but yeah those two were kind of like at the bottom of my list i guess but yeah it doesn't mean that they're bad it's just they're not the right hair tool for my hair type basically at number six i have the dry bar reserve three-in-one interchangeable blow dryer the only reason why this one is at number six is because of the price point like i just feel like it's so pricey it's 350 dollars it's like almost the same price as the dyson supersonic which is crazy i mean that hair tool the dry bar reserve three-in-one interchangeable blow dryer is good it's just i feel like it didn't dry my hair that quickly it wasn't as powerful and i just feel like it didn't get hot enough for my hair type i really need my blow dryers to get super hot because if not i just feel like i'm left with a little bit of frizz and i like that it brings different attachments but honestly the only one that i really used was the round brush attachment the other ones i just didn't really use because i just don't like paddle brush attachments they just don't work that well for my curly hair i just feel like i'd rather use a round brush attachment 100 percent so yeah i just feel like at that price point and maybe should have brought more attachments even like the shark flex style it brings so many different attachments it even brings a diffuser attachment so at 270 i feel like that is just a little bit more worth it than this one the dry bar reserve three-in-one interchangeable blow dryer it's 350 dollars so yeah it is a little bit pricey and that hair tool was actually gifted to me so i shouldn't even be like worrying about the price or anything but i'm just thinking about people that are going to spend their money and buy it themselves i just want to be completely honest with you guys because i know that you guys are going to go and you know spend your money on some of these hair tools so i just want to be honest with you guys i know that that was gifted to me but i'm just thinking like if i were to purchase it with my money because that's what 
most of you guys will do so i just want to be very very honest with you guys and give you guys the tea that one is not bad i feel like it's very very gentle it doesn't get too hot so if you have more fine hair if you have more like wavy hair you might really really love it and i really like that it's super lightweight so if you don't like heavy hair tools you're going to love that hair tool that is probably the lightest hair tool that i have like that's a hair tool that i feel like my grandma would absolutely love because it's so lightweight and you know that doing your hair kind of gets tiring after a while so overall it is not bad at all i just feel like the price point is a little bit high at number five i have a hair tool that i actually have used so much in the past the dry bar double shot so the dry bar double shot reminds me a lot of the revlon the original the size of the brush is basically like the same size the same design it's just basically kind of like the same thing so i do really like it um the only thing is that i feel like the brush is a little bit too big so that is why i prefer the other ones like the single shot the half shot so at number four actually i have the single shot which is a little bit smaller and it's like a round brush instead of an oval brush so i just feel like i get a lot more bounce with that hair tool i also feel like i get so much volume at the top because the brush is a little bit smaller than the double shot if you have longer hair you might like the double shot a little bit more than the single shot just because you're able to grab more hair with it you're able to take bigger sections it dries your hair a lot quicker but for me i just like the single shot a little tiny bit more because i don't need a brush that big i mean my hair isn't like too long and i also like that the single shot like the round brush gives me a little bit more bounce on the ends more volume and it just gives me a nicer looking blowout i feel so i like the single shot a little bit more so that's why i wanted to put it at number four at number three i have the half shot because i like the half shot even more than the other two just because the brush is even smaller and i was very impressed with how small that round brush was and how much i actually ended up loving it i just feel like since the round brush is a little bit smaller i just take smaller sections and i take my time with it and i dry each section a little bit better because i'm taking smaller sections and at the same time i'm getting very nice smooth results with bounce on the ends with some volume at the top so yeah here's a little tiktok of me using the half shot i absolutely love it when my hair was a little bit shorter after getting my hair cut not too long ago maybe like in the summer so it's been about like six months since i got this haircut but my hair was a little bit shorter and this round brush was so good for my hair length at the time so i honestly feel like it's so good for short hair as well i feel like my mom would absolutely love this blow dryer it gives me so much volume bounce and it just gives me like a very salon blowout look so i really really love the half shot it is definitely one of my favorite hair tools that dry bar has it is just so good i just feel like it leaves my hair looking nicer and it actually smooths out my roots way better than a bigger oval brush so yeah the half shot is hands down my favorite out of the three it is so worth it i also love that the half shot is only 155 dollars so comparing it to the dry bar reserve three-in-one interchangeable brush hair dryer you see how much cheaper it is it's like 200 dollars cheaper and i just like it even more than the dry bar reserve three-in-one interchangeable blow dryer so yeah i just feel like it's a great deal at 155 you get a blow dryer that's gonna last you such a long time that's gonna give you nice results and i just like the size of that round brush a little bit more than the other ones that i mentioned earlier in this video so yeah um moving on to hair tool number two on my list the dry bar reserve flat iron this one is a little bit newer to my collection but wow it is so freaking nice it reminds me a lot of the bioionic 10x straightener 
It also has the vibrating technology, which is going to give you more shine. And I love that it's a one inch straightener. So you're able to get very nice bouncy curls with that straightener as well. I also love that this has five heat settings to choose from. So if you just want to stick to a low heat setting, you can do that. If you want a very high heat setting, like 450 degrees Fahrenheit, you can also do that. So I really love that it has that option. The vibrating technology is interesting because it creates like the perfect tension for each pass. So it's going to make your hair look super super straight and honestly when i use this straightener my hair had so much shine it was pin straight and yeah i really liked it um if you want to get some curls you can also do that i'm gonna put a video up here of me doing some curls with this i just basically created a couple of curls and put my hair up in velcro rollers and then i just let it set for about 30 minutes and i got so much volume i just really really loved using that hair tool for that hairstyle so there's so much you can do with a one inch straightener i love that this one gives me a lot of shine and it gives me a very sleek look whenever i need to whenever i want to and then if i want to add some curls it gives me beautiful shiny and bouncy curls so i really love this hair tool it is so good at number one i have this bad boy right here wow this blow dryer is insane it's so good and i can't believe i just discovered it not too long ago but it is my number one favorite dry bar hair tool it is just so good and i have been really into doing like those regular blowouts lately like with the round brush and a regular blow dryer i just feel like i get even smoother results so yeah if you're into that definitely check this blow dryer out it is so good it's very lightweight and it dries my hair so quickly i also feel like it doesn't leave my hair with frizz or anything it is a little bit on the pricier side but i think it is totally worth it it is so so good i'm gonna put a tiktok right here so you guys can see how i used this blow dryer to blow on my hair i also just love the design the color it's so beautiful it kind of like matches with my bathroom right now so i really love the colors of this blow dryer i actually like these colors even more than they're like you know yellow ones but the yellow is not bad but this white and silver is just so beautiful so really love the design and the color of this hair tool and actually if you want a round brush they have a lot of nice round brushes this is in a size medium and i absolutely love this i feel like my hair doesn't get stuck or tangled it's very nice so if you want to check it out i'll link this down below by the way i am going to be linking down below all the hair tools that i mentioned in this video so if you want to buy anything i'm going to put everything in the description box down below and yeah guys that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you like this like mini series that i have going on i have more coming next i'm actually gonna do the revlon brands so subscribe if you don't want to miss that video i actually have about 10 revlon hair tools that i'm going to be talking about in that video so subscribe so you don't miss that video and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye